Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and this week's Habitat Hints. We're talking drought and talking food plots and I'm very grateful to have here with me Jordan Besears and he's going to tell us a little bit about food plots and this drought and what, what people can do and how it looks and so forth during this drought. So let me turn this around and we'll talk with Jordan and he's going to talk food plots with us. All right, good afternoon, Jordan. How are you today? Doing great, how are you, Lucas? I'm doing great, doing great. So, Missouri, about 50% of the state is in a drought right now. What, what, what do we got going on behind us? What can you talk a little bit about that and food plots? Right, so we're about 30 miles north of the Missouri River here in Callaway County, um, and we're gonna talk, talk food plots. But like the rest of uh, North Missouri, we've been in a pretty serious drought. Uh, the landowner said they've had Roughly an inch of rain in the last three weeks or so, which is uh, which is more than some folks have had, but we're still exceptionally dry. Um, you'll see behind me, we've got two different types of food plots uh, that he's planted. The one on, on my right, yeah. uh, they've they've done the more they've taken the more conventional approach. They worked the ground in the spring a couple times. They broadcast a diverse mix of legumes and cereal grains, and you can see not much has germinated. It it's pretty dry. There's nothing there on to, uh, to, see, to shield the soil to keep soil temperatures down. There's no uh, plant residue to hold moisture and it's really suffering. So if you con contrast that with this over my left shoulder, it looks very different. You'll notice there's a lot of residual on top of the ground and that's last year's plant growth. On this side, they simply came in and terminated that with herbicide and then drilled with a, with a no-till drill, the same mix is over here on the droughty side the same day, and you'll notice you can row it here and it's much more green. So uh, th this producer has been very much into, uh, he's taken the regenerative approach to his food plots. Maybe you've heard the term regenerative agriculture. He tries to keep some sort of green living root in the ground year, year long to keep the mycorrhizal and the bugs in the soils going. He tries to keep his soils shielded with, uh, with plant matter and vegetation to keep soil temperatures down and to keep uh, the, keep it capture as much soil moisture as he can. He gets better infra, infiltration rates when it rains versus this side that's sim simply going to run off and he's not going to capture any water and it's probably only going to continue to get drier. So we can see it clearly here on the video. You see it, Jordan. Uh, there's almost like a line drawn in the sand. On the right is the regenerative planting, correct? And, At, on, the, and on the left, Basically, how do they plant that? I mean, what do they not use that's so different? Yep, you're 100% right. They, they planted the exact same food plot crop in here. On the left, they've just worked the soil several times. They've lost a lot of soil moisture by doing that. And they've, uh, this time of year when it gets hot and droughty, you'll notice that there's no plant residual matter on top. And uh, once it gets to a certain temperature, plants simply stop growing and the soil function much differently. They're not nearly as efficient. So, I mean, it's important. It shows you right here during a drought, regenerative uh, planting is the way to go for food plots. It is. They're, very, they're much more resilient, um, planting these diverse, diverse mixes, keep something always going. And uh, in the long run, it's probably cheaper for the landowner as well. Where can uh, people watching right now learn more about, you know, food plots and, and how they can do regenerative planting and versus just normal planting, working up the dirt like you were saying? Right, so they can go to our own website at mdc.mo.gov, and we've got some great information as what well, information there. Mm -hmm. um, some of our partners, like the University of Missouri Extension, uh, the, U the uh, Natural Resources Conservation Service, and local soil and water districts, they've got um, they're they're a wealth of knowledge as well when it comes to regenerative farming practices and food plots. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Jordan. Thank you very much for today, and uh, that's it for today's Habitat Hints. And again, as we talked about. Uh, the drought and the differences and how you can actually kind of get through the drought with the regenerative planting. I mean, you can see a complete difference of how it's all burn up on the left and not very much at all on the right. Thank you for tuning in. You all have a great rest of the day.